Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to verify Cash App account. So this guide, just to make it clear, this guide is going to work in all different type of devices, including iOS, Android. They are all going to work. And I will also explain the Cash App verification process for different countries as well as it does very little bit depending on where you are from. So to do that, all you want to do is go and tap on your profile picture in the top right of any of these pages, just like so. And this is going to take to your account page and scroll down to the section called account and settings. And what you want to do is go and tap on personal. And then here you can go and add your phone and email address and your country. And all this stuff is pretty necessary in order to go and verify your account. And the main thing that's going to change when you go and verify your account and cash app all your limits if you are going to tap the limits as you can see these are my current ones now at this point things are going to vary a little bit but i am going to explain all the different variables and situations may happen so the main time we actually need to go and verify your cash of account is when you are going to exceed these limits here is an article by cash at themselves about verifying your account it says if you send or receive more than the limit you will be prompt to verify your account with your full name, date of birth and address in order to go and keep your cash app secure. Therefore basically cash app are going to ask you to verify account when they need it. At this point in time you probably don't need to go and verify your account. However. If you are in the US and you can actually go and purchase assets like cryptocurrency using cash app and to go and verify your account is all you need to do is go to that asset purchasing page. It's not actually in my country so there is going to be a button which says something like enable withdraw rules and you will need to go and provide ID in order to go and have withdrawals and things like. So that's the only case where you are going to go and need to show your ID in the US if you go and want to go to withdraw cryptocurrency or if you are going to exceed the limits then cash app is actually going to ask you and then you can go and keep using cash app after you are gone and verified yourself so basically don't worry until cash app actually going to ask you about it but it definitely worth adding your personal information and making sure it's up to date so that's it for this video i hope this video was helpful if it is like this video and subscribe to the channel thank you